too many people are all or nothing nowadays in with what they want in life. You have this hustle culture camp of people who are like, bro, fuck my family, fuck all this shit, I'm gonna grind and drop ship and sell cunt coins and I'm gonna get it out the mud, bro, and I'm gonna escape the matrix, dude, and they are full of angst, dread, misery, uh, bullshit, but they're disciplined. Then you got this other camp of like hippie motherfuckers who are like, dude, chill, I'll work when I feel like it, the universe will align in my favor, I'll just, I'll manifest it, dude. It's chill. Um, they live in hedonism, a lot of them. They don't really give a fuck about anything. They don't care about jobs or society. It's just be free, dude. Do what you love. So how do we find a happy medium between these? Well, first off, it is very paramount that you understand each person's pendulum of balance is very dependent on themselves and their own ideals of what they want in this life, okay? But for this example, I'm going to use myself, okay? About how I've discovered balance, contentment, but also extreme discipline, okay? I've taken the meat and left the bones of certain things to where I'm open-minded and exploring but I'm not going to be swept up by the, the tide and the fucking waves of these ideologies. And I come together in a balanced stew, if you will, with meat and potatoes and carrots and seasonings and all the good shit. So let me explain how I what I've done with some of these things. And then you can maybe base your own judgment off of that and do it for yourself. So let's start with taking some meat from the hustle culture and leaving some of the bones. Some meat that I would take is very structured, disciplined habits. We got things like a sleep schedule. Put that in the pot. Things like a healthy workout regimen. Put that in a pot. The discipline to get all of this shit done and stay consistent with it. Put that in the pot. Some other just like little fucking nuances like uh, quitting certain bad habits. Like uh, alcohol. Uh, Smoking weed, if it's very, if it's a negative thing for you. So we'll put that in the pot. So there's some meat that we've taken from them. I could go over all of these other little habits and shit you do. But some of the bones we will be leaving in the hustle culture pile is things like emotions like angst, misery, dread. All of these emotions go hand in hand with this. Because the message is, fuck what you feel, just grind shit out, and make money however you possibly can, and it's up for the taking, because life is what you make it, dude, and you can take the shit that you want. Now, let's go to the hippy-dippy fucking be free side. Let's take some of the meat from there. Now, in the past, when I was very deep into the hustle culture... I was kind of, it was kind of asinine to dip into this pot, if you will, of the hippie side. Because the way people view each other whenever they're like one or one side or the other, the hustle culture people think that if you're into the fucking be free, go with the flow type shit, that you're lazy and lack discipline. If you're in the middle, they think you're lazy and you lack discipline. And then the hippie people are a little bit different. They view the hustle culture people as very toxic and negative and blah, like a monster. And then they view themselves as being balanced and in the middle when they're not. They really are not. They're all the way over here on this side. They think they're in the middle. So there's even a little bit more of a delusion on this side. But they don't judge you really that much whenever you are in the middle. Like the hustle culture people will. So let's take some meat from this side. Let's take passion and following what you want to do in this life and put it in the pot. Let's take spending positive time with your family and put it in the pot. Let's take things like meditation and religion and tools to... Well, not what I would declare a tool because I believe in Christianity. But certain tools like this to keep your mind straight and instill faith into you... And things like that. So let's put that in the pot. Now what do we have? We have a very healthy balanced meal to accomplish something. We're not sitting over here doing absolutely jack shit. 
meditating and manifesting things to happen while doing the complete opposite of what actionably would make those things happen. And we're not over here biting our fucking fingernails, stressing ourselves into a stroke and a heart attack because, dude, I'm 20 years old and I'm not fucking Elon Musk yet, dude. I don't have my million dollars and all these people, I see all these people breaking free of the Matrix. And it instills this angst and, and survival instinct in you where you're constantly stressing out on and on edge. And you're just kind of a, a, bo- a misery to be around, bro. I see the comments from some of these people in the hustle culture and it's like crazy. I try to take a little bit of a balanced approach with what I consume online. Mainly, the only content I allow myself to watch is like if it's like tutorials for music or art. Every once in a while, I only allow myself like my fucking screen time on my phone. Let's see. I'll prove this shit right now to the motherfuckers. Uh, let me find this shit. I, I try to stay disciplined with and balanced with using this because it is a tool at the end of the day. I'm not going to go too far into the one side of an ideology and, like, fucking throw it away and all this shit. But I'm also not going to, like, overindulge. So that's another aspect of balance that I would say. Let me find this hoe. So... Today, I only got, let me finish to get that up, so, I only got about an hour of screen time on the phone. I really just kind of utilize it as the tool, and like, if I'm doing my drum rudiments and shit like that, I'll put on like a metronome drum rudiment type thing from YouTube, or playing along to songs on the drums, or listening to something while I paint, shit like that. That's one aspect that I can explain the balance from. And I could go through each one of these habits. I know I kind of gave some people blue balls here. Where I was talking on one thing and kind of rambled off. But this goes along with the whole balance and shit like that. Where let's talk about some of those uh, super, super disciplined people. I see some of these self-improvement people where they get so crazy where they're like, Don't listen to music, dude. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. When it all just comes down to nobody had these rules like 50 years ago. This is all just like a bunch of 20-year-old fucking kids on YouTube in self-improvement thinking that they're like an entrepreneur billionaire because of the internet. And really, realistically, it's just kind of bullshit, dog. You can just live contently without... All of that noise and confusion and hustle and bustle and bullshit, bro. But you can also... You can also achieve some of the things they talk about without the stress. You can, I believe, and you see this every day, with a musician, an artist, someone who does things that most people would love doing, which doesn't consist of you fucking drop-shipping underwear... Or selling uh, Bitcoin. You can follow a passion that you love. And achieve some sort of a monetization. That would be a perfect merger of these two worlds. Of like be free. Go with the flow. Follow your dreams. And dude this is the exact uh, strategy of how to be a millionaire. Combine them. Combine monetization with your passion. And what you want to do. Your purpose if you will. Combine them together, and there you go. And then just take little habits and things. Take religion, take meditation, take uh, practice of law of attraction, which, let me go over that real quick. The law of attraction is like 5% of the actual equation to getting things done. If you, say you're going about a journey, and there's constant mental turmoil throughout the process, Day, you never know if you're going to be motivated one day or not the next day. The law of attraction is just a process of, of, what the fuck is the word I'm thinking of? It's just a process of curating your thoughts in your head and managing the thoughts in your head. Because what it states is, the more you think of negative things, the more negative things happen. The more you think of positive things, the more positive happens. 
What does that mean? Stay fucking positive and you'll keep fucking going and keep accomplishing things you want to accomplish. So take these habits like that and meditation, which meditation helps you with your focus. Take those habits, mix them in. Take some of the like extreme workout habits to get muscles and shit. Put those in there. It keeps your mind right. keeps your body right. It's your temple, dude. Keep that shit healthy. Take that. You don't have to go also with the extreme dieting approaches with some of these things. Like you have some of these things where it's like fucking carnivore. If your food touches plastic, if you do this and do that and you don't do this, you're fucking going to hell. And then you got you got these other people who's like, you've got to be a vegan dude. If a cow touches your arm, you're fucking going to die. Don't listen to any of these super fucking bullshit. Just take some of the meat and leave the bones, okay? Eat. Uh, organic whole food vegetables if you can afford it. If not, just eat vegetables and fucking shit that's not processed. Uh, eat enough protein and eat healthy shit. Chicken, beef, whatever. It doesn't really matter as long as it's what you like. Take that and put it in there. All these things. Just find your balance and swing your pendulum. Be open-minded. Remember, agnosticism helps. The only things that I'm not agnostic with is religion because that is something that is the grandest tool of all. If you can have faith in a greater power, it clears all of that mental turmoil up and allows you to just skyrocket forward towards whatever you want. So, if you can do that, take away all the nihilism and all the existential questions and just sum them up into one thing, you truly have a superpower, my friend. And that is the one space where I try not to let myself be too agnostic. I find a lot of the occult things and different things like that very interesting to research. Fucking hermeticism and all that shit. But I try to just dabble. I don't try to fall down those rabbit holes like Alice. Because Alice was in fucking Wonderland for a long goddamn time. And I don't have the time to do that shit. Because I have time that I need to spend on my passion, my purpose which is music, art, things like that. So take the balance, take the meat, leave the bones, and you will find contentment. Don't sway too far one way or another. And that was a good analogy. I like that. Don't fall down the fucking rabbit holes because Alice was in Wonderland for a long fucking time and she wasted a lot of time in the real world. Fucking, I know it's a cartoon, but just think about it like that. Think about if you're real, think of yourself as Alice and you're really disciplined on one thing and you really want something to happen and you constantly let your focus and let different things go down these rabbit holes and you spend too much time in them, it takes away from that. So take another piece of meat from the hustle culture shit and throw it in there and take the extreme focus on one specific thing or a couple. For me, I'm a juggler. I juggle my music, my painting, and somewhat these videos a little bit, but that's the main thing. Video is going on too long. Got some shit to do. Chase paper. Enjoy nature, old son. Have a great day. Balance. Oh.